This just looks the same as the last two. Yeah. G'day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For a third year in a row, we're doing the AFL season predictions video. Are you sure it's three, not four? It's three. three. Yeah. Patrick, Patrick, three Patrick. Three years, nothing's changed. So are you taking the fifth last year? You came in, took the yeah, fifth out of the experiment. As I say on maths, mm. and uh, I think you did the best. You got Geelong number one. Yeah, people always give me credit for the grind, but he I didn't, he didn't he, win it. But he did wonders. Yeah, he, 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 did, he played really good, and he, came, he was from nowhere. Dolph, so I want to know how comfortable you are with um, the only two videos Dutch comes in for the year, being the two just about biggest one the season prediction and the goal recreation. Is yeah, why? Right? Right? Well, look, look, I, I don't think it's a deal. Yeah, look, it says a lot about the channel, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Why aren't you friends with Liam anymore? It's a frequent comment. <laughs> <And he's laughs> it gets asked all the time. Where's Liam? Where's Liam? Um, Alright, let's rip in. The first prediction we're going to do is our top fours. Um, my top four is the Tigers, West Coast, the Doggies, and the Giants. So, doggies. So the Doggies are the the Doggies are the big jumper. They take the next step. The Doggies, the dog, <laughs> the dogs take the next step. I'm actually going to go very generic for this one. I'm going to go. I'm at safe. Fourth, uh, fourth, Collingwood, third, GWS, second. Um, North Richmond and top West Coast. Yeah, yeah. I, I, very yeah. generic. Very generic. Do we have the odds? Nah. No, we're <laughs> not off the top. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a party <laughs> man. Nathan, <laughs> Nathan Brown. Tom, Tom, we need just happen. <laughs> we don't do that here. Um, I'm gonna go with West Coast fourth, Richmond third, Collingwood second, and the Giants first. I'm optimistic. So we have the same top four. Yeah. Do you have any concern over the players like of key forward? Do you think they have the star power up front too? I think Darcy Cameron will come in and provide a... Darcy Cameron? Take it a second on the way. He went around the week, obviously. I think he'll provide an extra tall. I think James Steenson whip it around. Oh, I like the forward line. That's it, almost professional. Oh, that took us four. Sure, in his own cereal. Don't mind Yeah, I was pretty generic as well, but I was actually at the exact same four as Rob. I had the dogs in there as well. No, no lions. No lions. So we've all got the lions dropping out of the lions. I had West Coast, Giants, Tigers, and the dogs. On dogs on top? No, dogs four. Is it bad that the reason I think the lions are going to drop is because Luke Hodge retired? <laughs> that's, like, that's the only thing I'm going off, really. With it, it'll step up. Because I'm like, well, he, he... <laughs> With it, it'll step up. What are you going No, just because just 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 I was like, he went there and they became good. Alright, they lost Louis Taylor as well. Yeah, it's a good game. Swanny. Swanny. And I know that sounds silly, but I'm actually being serious because you need players like that. Play, you play it all No, I know, but you need... You need <laughs> no, you, you don't. You, you, need, you do. You can't get a game. No, no. Nah. That's why that's not the way it works. Cam Ellis Yolden was a good guy. The man who's better than the Bond. You can get a game from Adelaide. How's he going to get a game That's not the way it works. You need good twos players. Yeah, we're gonna eat some food. Wooden spoon. Adelaide. Good one. Oh my. Crash and burn into burgers. <laughs> everyone, <laughs> everyone wanted out. There's, the culture is a point. I reckon Adelaide are Adelaide borderline top, top eight for me. So you're wrong with that. Uh, well, I'll go see. off Rodgers' coattails again. I've gone Adelaide as well. Oh, these guys are great. I think the lot. Yeah, they should have been jerking each other off. Everyone's <laughs> just, the toilets. I just didn't want to be Gold Coast. No, I'm going for the Swans. Yeah, who got it? Yeah, I reckon that'll be shit out. See ya, Swanny. I reckon this one's a bit shit. I'm going Carlton. You are oh. so wrong. You're wrong, boy. Well, I just look at the team and I'm just like, brilliant. The depth is unreal then. Just how many different tables? Eddie Metz, Eddie Metz, I actually reckon Eddie Metz. They've got a few tables. No, but they, yeah, but they're playing in the ones, eh? Eddie Metz, Louis Taylor's playing in the twos. Ah, uh, the flag. We might as well pick a flag. Didn't we do that before? We, we did top four, but last year we didn't specifically say flag and yeah, people weren't happy. Tigers. I reckon the Premiers are going to be West Coast. Yep, West Coast. I just, Tim Kelly's a gun. And yeah, man, they were pretty shit last year. Like, in terms of a team that was meant to be back. <laughs> no, they had some, they were dominant up at Perth. Yeah, but they had games. They showed what They lost to. The grand finals at Optus. Who did they lose to? They lost some easy ones. Hawthorne? Hawthorne was shit. Yeah, but at the Jets. At the Jets. Was it? I think yeah. it was a... I think it was in Perth in the last okay. game. I, I'm just saying, I think West Coast, because what, who have they lost? Daniel Venables for the <laughs> season. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> 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 so, uh, grand final winner, grand final yeah, winner. Yeah, Venables are he's a, he, he is not a good footballer, Daniel Venables. <laughs> 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 he is. He's Why do you think he's wrong? What's the game? <laughs> That's not a nice thing. He's just not a good footballer. He's just not a good footballer. Oh, I think he's wrong. I think he just, every time I watch him run around like a headless chook, doesn't get stuck in his hands on the pill. Who's going to win the flag? Not that, Daniel Venables. 
<laughs> yeah, right, I reckon the Giants. I reckon the. I think I said that, but yeah, the Giants. The Giants have been the flag. Oh, wait, waste case as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. back. It was only two years ago that one, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. But it was only one year ago the Tigers won. <laughs> Rising star. Trent Bianco. Good one. Friend of the show. Friend of the show. Friend of the show, Trent Bianco. Family friend. He slipped down to like around three pick or something ridiculous when he was... In the 40s. Yeah, when he was touted as round, potential round one. Silky left boot, lined up on any bets in the first practice match against the Blue Bangers and did an outstanding job. It's going to be a lot more friends of the show uh, turning up and playing AFL soon, I think. Yeah. Those kids that started watching when they were 16. Yeah. Right? <laughs> you at home? Yeah. Could be. <laughs> yeah Do you want to be Connor Rogers 2020 <laughs> rising star? Gained many friends today and made one enemy in Daniel Van <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say the rising star, Hayden Young from the Dockers, Silky left foot, but uh, Hayden, Hayden Young, he'll, he'll win the rising star. Go the Dockers. I went with Rao, that's his name, isn't it? Yeah. Gold Coast. Rao. I think the most, the most rising stars would have come from pick number one, so I said, but he'd assume so. So I'm going to have the most pick kids. Never assume that Meeks and I said that you and me. <laughs> so, and you said. Messi Bianco. I said uh, Trent Bianco. Bianco, Hayden Young, Young Rao. Rao. Uh, who's the number two? No answer. No answer. I'm going to go with Flynn Perez from North <laughs> Melbourne. <laughs> Flynn! I think his name's Flynn. Flynn Perez. Actually, no, he's out for the whole year, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. He's injured. I'll go with um, uh, Marnie, I think his name is. Marnie, little Marnie. Little Marnie. Well, this is the one you nailed last year, so you want to back it up. Yeah, and go on Little Marnie. It's the Brownlow medalist. I've got a tie. And I'll want an extra point <laughs> if I... Yeah, no, fine. You can have all the points. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You'll be shouting points. Paddy Cripps and Marcus Bontempelli. Dogs finishing top four, so Bont's going to have a massive year. Cripps runs Carlton, Carlton's whole line up. I see them tying in the camp. That would be funny because there's a big debate between them. Yeah, and that's, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to stay in off Melbourne Boys and go Sean Higgins. He polls well. Yeah, well, yeah, he, he polls well, well, did he? he? He was like top 10 this year. Missing. And he missed like half the season. He did poll really well. I think Tom McDonald about that. He's, uh, <laughs> no, no, he missed, at least, he missed at least eight games. Uh, I don't fact check, actually fact check it, I'm, I'm wrong, but I'm going to say, I think that if he had played the whole year, his vote tally, he would have won. Um, I've gone with uh, Josh Dunkley. I like Just because I like to I see someone him. who wasn't like a bond or a like Following on with my dog Stiffy and Cobbing Roger on the bond as well. Ah, uh, three uh, doggies players been mentioned. Yeah, I'm a big bond fan. This I mean, is plagiarism. Yeah. <laughs> the dogs don't keep the hair saying something. I just want to say, <laughs> this is off topic, but do the dogs have the most likeable list? I love Ed Richards, I love little Caleb Daniels. So. I'm trying to think of Josh the, Dunkley's probably my favourite player. Love now. Tory Dixon. <laughs> Tory Dixon reminds me of that elite local footballer who didn't just have like the athletic ability to make the AFL, but he's the perfect footballer. But yeah. he has managed to make it in the AFL. Somehow he's got a chance. Well, me and me and Doss always talk about this. Every premiership team needs a Tory Dixon. Coleman medalist. Josh Kennedy from West Coast. He's just the best key forward in the comp as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to go big, big soof. Big Rus, big Suvalaki. Big Larky. Big Larky. The Lark? Yeah. Break it. Coleman. Gonna kick more goals than Joe, Joe Kennedy. He was he was second for my uh, breakout of Australia as well. Yeah. yeah, but what? He's gonna kick more goals than Ben Brown. Yeah. I picked um, someone who I'm pretty sure was injured for a majority of the year, but he's got a bit of the Tommy Max about him. But he can kick 50 in 10 games. Aaron Norton. He's missing like the first couple of weeks. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I've gone. Lance Buddy Franklin for one last crack. One last crack. Right, Isn't he out for 10 weeks? Uh, he'll, 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 be, he'll, he'll come back. I'd, I'd, love love to to I'd love to see that. Buddy kicking 10 in 20. I'd love to say. I was feeling he wasn't in the All Star game. Surprise all Australia. This is, would be a massive surprise, but I think Ron Marshall's going to establish himself as I don't know who that is. the third best rock in the comp. And then if Gorn or Grundy gets an injury or something like yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's Marshall will fall in. So I think it's unlikely he overtakes Grundy and Gorn, but. So Slight what? chance, and if Granny or Gorn goes down, the cycle steps. I've gone with um, Mitch Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, Ruffy gone, he can mark, he can kick, get around the big <laughs> room. <laughs> he's going to win the fucking round line. He can mark, he can put kick. Dusty on Mitch Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I knew Mitch Lewis could mark and kick before I went <laughs> line. <laughs> I've gone with uh, Jake the Snake Carlisle. Oh, oh, I'm a big fan of his work. <laughs> At the Dons, he was late down back. Yeah, he was. Intercept mark, and maybe he could lose a bit of weight. Get a bit Isn't he a ship bloke, apparently? I think he's quite, quite. I've never met him. 
He gets angry on the field sometimes. And he enjoys it the time. Throws people over the fence. <laughs> and the Saints, the Saints will get off this year. Um, I'm going to go with... Is he absorbing the content? Magic Door. Matt's going to come back here. That, that, that'd story. be good. The greatest one of the all-time great stories, Phil Flip's story. It's already one of the great stories, him just like playing AFL in the first place, mm-hmm. let alone like, coming back down. Uh, a headline that we will see this year. I'm going to kick it off. Uh, coronavirus <laughs> games to stop. Oh my goodness. Hope not. Your dad was telling me coronavirus doesn't kill people. It kills yeah. vulnerable people. Oh, 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 yeah. So why is everyone talking? Well, there probably would be if, some, if like we got coronavirus and so many people got it and you weren't able to get like the health support you needed, you could die from it. I'm gonna go to the supermarket and try to find some toilet paper and yeah. it's all on the shelves. Yeah. If the days suck, I'm gonna use my scarf. Okay. We'll, we'll cop that one out. No, that has to make the video. <laughs> that has to make the video. That is shit. That's That is shit. Jesus, you just got three points. Stay here. Wait for it. I'm really excited to say it. <laughs> it just cut off. It just wouldn't come out. Of it. <laughs> that was shit. Um, this is one that I really hope we do see, and I think it's a genuine sniff. Fox Footy signs YouTuber Kate McDonald. Where? Those goggle box bikes got their own show. Yeah. I just say, so, I don't know what capacity, but somewhere. Yeah, Andrew Ryder. Could you handle it? Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Imagine Fox Footy come up and they're like, oh, do you want to sign? I'm like, nah, Roger, you're getting your prediction right. Yeah. Uh, my headline is at about around 10 uh, or 11, somewhere in the middle of the year. Applet out for year, career over. Yeah, he won't make it through the year. Not going to make it through the year, and he's going to like, he'll call it. Yeah, time and, okay. and it'll be really sad that you, know, you play like three games. Yeah. It'll be really sad seeing one of the all time greats just. It will be sad, but a bit of me is like. Yeah, it's all It's like a signature long game. It's all long game. There is a bit of that with Gaz. Everyone's on like rips him a little no, bit. I want to see I love the elite. I want to see I want to see Gaz playing in the midfield again. And he might, you know, Tim Kelly's gone. He's going to, and then he's going to pull a streak. My headline is off the news today that uh, there's going to be an AFL game in America this year. Mm. Donald Trump loves the AFL. Oh! And turns it into a worldwide oh, Yeah! The AFL goes global on the uh, back. I love that. When I was watching State of Origin, I was like, how good would it be to have all the best Australian team playing against the country <laughs> belting the fuck out. Imagine that, like, oh, who are the D's got this week? Oh, we got Seattle in Seattle. Yeah. That's annoying. Well, I don't know if that's going to be good. I reckon I'll have a good one. They might have their own comp, and, you know, they'll be a super, super rugby operation. No, it's like Champions League. Yeah, they'll be a Champions League. <laughs> oh, yeah, true. I don't think we'll be playing home and away season. I don't think the D's will have to worry about making the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> all right, boys and girls, this is where it gets interesting. The boys are going to make a big call and put a punishment on the line. If North Melbourne don't make the top four, I'll go Skydiving. If the big call doesn't come true, they must do the punishment. This means when we watch the video back and react to it at the end of the year, we have a few spicy little things to follow up on. Let's go. If an AFL player gets coronavirus, I'll start a prank YouTube channel. <laughs> Sicker in there. Oh, well, the likes have said uh, if Melbourne finishes in the top four, I'll do literally whatever Kate McDonald wants me to do. And if North Melbourne finishes in the top eight, I'll do literally whatever I want to do. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I'll yeah, do. Yeah, so we're very right. Take your pick. And we, oh do we have till the end of the year to think it's on? Yeah. 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 You, can take, you can take your pick. If the D's don't finish higher than the Cats, I'll face six balls from a first class cricket quick. So I said, you're gonna chuck bakes out there. No, it, it'll be quick. No, it, it'll be. Trent they have to at least play Sheffield Shield. They have to at Shef- least play How are you gonna play a Sheffield Shield ball around? Okay. With no helmet? No, I'll be wearing a helmet. I'll we be no thigh pad. I'll be wearing a I'll be wearing a I'll be wearing a hockey goalkeeper kit <laughs> and just like in a ball. We could get a Will Sutherland type operation. And he can't and he, yeah. every time you go out, 
Oh, 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 oh if I go out, I'm out. No, but you have to, <laughs> no, you have to, you can't just back away. So yeah, no, no. Well, well, yeah. You know when you say it on Fox footy on yesterday's mm-hmm. they're not actually, like, they're not trying to play the cover drop, they guess it is. See, that, that's yeah. going to be well, me, I'm just going to have No, no, you've no, got to, I want to see you try and play cricket. You've got to try and play cricket. I don't, I don't leave the Nets until I get a four. Yeah. <laughs> You know, four. I hope he counts the others. The Cats are finishing above Melbourne as well. I don't think they will. I'm going to go with the same as what Dotto did. Not the cricketer thing, but. Well, I copied you. You you told me yours first. Yeah, if. Well, North... Dutch has been copying me all day. Great minds think alike. If North Melbourne don't finish higher than Hawthorne, I'll get the Hawthorne logo tattooed on my arm. Oh, yeah. And you know I'll do it. You know I'll do it. And you know I'll do it. You know I'll do it. Because like I just always rip off. Alright, guys, that is another video. Uh, let us know your predictions down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will be back at the end of the year to see if any of these predictions came right. Cheers. <laughs>